Was something confusing at the beginning for you? I'm restarting from a few sentences before I ended the last part two. Part one. Anyway, was there something confusing at the beginning for you when the doctor started regenerating and he got shot again and he was stone dead? Was that a problem for you to understand? Are you new to the show and you don't know what that means? Yeah, I, I think I just said that. <laughs> the silence. Anyway, um, if you didn't understand the silence, I can help you there, too. Ooh. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> Spoilers. Anyway, I didn't- I just ruined something for everyone watching this video. I feel bad now. Anyway, um, at the beginning, the doctor, the 1103-year-old doctor, invited his younger self, River, Rory, Rose, and Canton Everett Delaware the third. That's a hard name to remember. I this is the first time I got it right. <laughs> anyway, he invited them to th to this picnic for a reason. But there is definitely but here's one thing that I noticed that I haven't seen anyone else notice. Why didn't the younger doctor show up at the picnic? Hmm. That makes you think a little bit, too. I just realized that right now. Why didn't the younger doctor show up at the picnic, but everyone else did? Maybe his invitation said different. Maybe there was a reason he was held up. Hmm, who knows? See? It makes you think. You have to you have to analyze the episode to actually start thinking about it. And then you, when you start thinking about it, it helps you understand the episode. So that's what you have to do. Anyway. At the beginning of the show... The young, the older doctor, 1103-year-old doctor, invited River, Ro R Rose, oh my god, <laughs> sorry, Amy, Rory, Rose and Rory, I always get confused because they have two letters that are the same, I don't know why, and Canton Everett Delaware the third to a picnic, and he definitely, the older doctor definitely brought them the those specific people there for a reason. Definitely. Yeah. So, what was the reason? We don't know yet. But it definitely had something to do with space 1969. Everyone knows that was when the first moon landing was or whatever, but the spaceman definitely had something to do that with that at the beginning. The spaceman came out of the water. Why the water? How was it in the water in the first place? They're gonna give you these answers in the next episode, most likely, and throughout the season. You can't just say that this first episode was confusing, so I don't like the rest of the series. You can't say that. He came out of the water. Why the water? Why did the doctor willingly go over to and know that he was going to die? Why wouldn't he just pack up and leave? Why did he allow himself to die? Think about these things and then try to, like, throw your mind around it and figure out, figure it out for yourself until you get the regular, the real answers. Why did he go over to the astronaut knowing he was going to die by the astronaut's hand? There must have been a reason. And you can't just say that it was confusing. Because... Okay, let's get to the regeneration. I'm not going to ramble on that anymore. So, yeah. The, he went over to the astronaut, was talking to it. Why did he, again, why did he say, I, I know it's you? Why did he say that? Who is it? You have to think. You don't understand who it is. You don't know who it is. You don't understand why he would go over and willingly sacrifice himself, what did he sacrifice himself for? That's another question. There are so many questions that arose through this first episode, but you have to pay attention to the rest of the episodes to get every single answer. Because there are very, very, very important things in the, in the first two episodes that are going to be in there for the rest of the season. You have to pay attention. You can't just say, no, I'm not going to. You have to be willing to listen. Anyway. Okay, the regeneration cycle. Yeah. If you're new to the show, you probably don't understand why he was stone dead right after he, when he was shot the second time. When the astronaut shot him, 
it was probably like a death ray or something. We don't know what he was shot with. So if he, since he was shot, we don't know what he was shot with. So obviously it might have been a death ray or something. I don't know. But the doctor started regenerating. Then he was shot again and he was dead. You might not know it if you're new to the show, but if a Time Lord is shot during his regeneration cycle, or killed during his regeneration cycle, he's dead. He's dead. He can't come back to life. He can't regenerate. And that might have been something confusing you. I don't know, but it might have helped. So, why, just like River was talking to Amy about, why would the older Doctor invite them specifically to... In to this place. We don't know yet. Why would... What's the significance of the astronaut? What's the significance of the aliens? Oh, yeah. The aliens that are new to the first episode. Why were there no aliens in the new first episode? Ha, ha, ha. It's a corny joke. You won't... It's kind of stupid. If you didn't understand, you would be like, What? There were aliens? If you didn't understand what the, their significance was. I'm not- I let it slip who they were before. Spoilers! I so ruined it for myself. For everyone. But I think it's the silence. Like, throughout the fifth season they were saying silence will fall. I think it's the silence. We're pretty sure it's the silence, to be honest. And I think it actually says that it's the silence. Anyway. Um. Yeah. So. <laughs> I don't know if you didn't understand that, really don't, but when you're looking at them, you probably got this much, if you have a brain at all, I'm sorry, if you're looking at them, you can remember them, talk to them, and see them, but the minute you look away, you can't remember them, what's the significance of that, nobody has these answers yet. You have to pay attention to the rest of the season, the next episode in particular, to know all of these answers. But I, the, what I think is the silence, and what we, are, what we all think is the silence, you have to watch the whole se season. You can't just watch the next episode, you can't just watch a few more episodes, you have to watch the whole season. Because it's not going to give you who they are in the next episode. Well, it might. It might. I don't know. Stephen Moffat in his crazy, crazy, crazy ways. Who knows? So, it might give you who they are, but why are they there? What's their significance now in the point of the Doctor? In the view of the Doctor? What's the significance now? Why in this season is the silence coming out? And why is River coming out? Why are you going to find out what River is? In this season in particular, they could have dragged on who River was for the next three, four seasons. But they decided to tell us this season. Why? Why this season? What's her important, important, important role now? We don't know. We kind of figured out who River is already. But Stephen Moffat said that it's not going to be who you think it is. So, don't think that... She's his wife right now, even though it would be so cute. I'm sorry. I'm a hopeless romantic. Sorry. <laughs> so, Amy's pregnancy. Why did she tell the doctor? Why did she tell them then? Why did she tell him then? Did she tell Rory yet? Who else knows? Does anybody know? And what is her connection to everything in time and space? What is her connection to the silence? Why, when the girl screams, did she touch her stomach? She hold her stomach and look like she's in pain. Why? Why? What? Who, what, where, when, and why? I don't know. You gotta watch Doctor Who.